again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 15th of February, 2019. You ever wonder what the definition is of a swamp critter? Wouldn't that be someone that's worked in our government for an extended period of time? Someone that really hasn't accomplished a whole lot of good for the American people? And didn't Donald Trump say that if he becomes president, he'll drain the swamp. Well, he has to a certain extent. And what he's done is he's drained the swamp by bringing them into his own administration. And he's done it countless times. The most recent time that he's done it was when he went ahead and nominated William Barr to replace Jeff Session. Jeff Session was also a swamp critter. And William Barr was just confirmed by the Senate on Thursday. That would have been the 14th of February, 2019. William Barr worked as the Attorney General for President Herbert Walker Bush. He was Attorney General during the Ruby Ridge fiasco. I attached a link on the Ruby Ridge fiasco. You've also heard me talk about another swamp critter. That's President Trump's national security advisor, John Bolton. Bolton worked for President Ronald Reagan from 88 to 89. And then he worked for President Bush from 89 to 93 is the Assistant Secretary of State. In 2001 to 2005, he was the Ambassador to the United Nations. And now he's President Donald Trump's National Security Advisor. Would you consider John Bolton to be a swamp critter? Would you consider William Barr to be a swamp critter. The article is posted on the 14th, written by John Shoup, that's S-C-H-U-P-P. -P. The Senate voted Thursday to approve William Barr as the next Attorney General, successor to Jeff Session, who stepped down in November. Now the pressing question is what the country can expect from its new top law enforcement official a continuation of Sessions' hardline stance on immigration and crime, or a new course? The answer is most likely some of both. Barr, who has previously served as Attorney General under the first President Bush, has embraced positions on immigration and crime. They were also backed by Sessions, a former federal prosecutor and U.S. Senator from Alabama. But the two men are not identical in their views, said John Malcolm, Vice President at the Institute of Constitutional Government at the Conservative Heritage Foundation. He has studied Barr's record and watched his January confirmation hearing before the Senate Judiciary Committee. There was a dogmatic quality to Jeff Sessions' approach, and I think Barr will be more open-minded, Malcolm said. So far, questionable Barr's plans have centered on Special Counsel Robert Mueller's ongoing investigation. <clears throat> That's the guy that William Barr calls Bob. Hmm? In Russian meddling in the 2016 election, <clears throat> Sessions recused himself from overseeing the investigation, angering President Donald Trump. Barr has said Sessions did the right thing. But Barr's impact on the criminal justice system will be wide-ranging. Here's what we know so far about his views on three key issues. A hard line on immigration. A new openness to criminal justice reform. Hmm. A more flexible view on marijuana. <laughs> well, yeah, his view is that those states that legalized it, legalized it. And those states that didn't, didn't. So I guess he'll enforce the laws against those states that didn't and looked the other way in those states that did. What if the citizens in those states decide, well, it should be okay to allow bestiality and they put that on the ballot and they vote for it? Folks, marijuana is a gateway drug. 
Again, I transgress, I apologize. The video that I'm going to post is going to be titled, The Garbage Continues to Get Recycled, William Barr, New AG. That's sort of what I think. When you bring in swamp critters, you really don't do anyone any good. Like I said, President Trump does not know how to pick people. It might not even be his fault. These people might all be recommended to him. Either way, the American people are the ones that lose, as will President Trump. That's sort of what I think. Tell me where I'm wrong. You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts. You might want to take a look at these two attached links. Let me know what you think. You sure as hell know what I think. Another horrific, poor choice made by President Donald Trump.